I'm fishing today with Chad from Pasha Lake Lodge up in Ontario, and he was kind enough to come out and fish with me. Um, well, I didn't have a choice. I told him that if he didn't, I'd grab him and make him come. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> he likes to fish like I like to fish. That's why he's in the business and has a, a, a great business there, a good place to stay, by the way, if you like do-it-yourself stuff. Because you can rent cabins and then do your own cooking and go to various lakes, or you can fish Nipigon. But if you're gonna fish Nipigon, you better have a boat that is, can take big water and cover it pretty fast because uh, that's a big, big, big lake and it can get very nasty, very nasty. Got one. More recently, I found myself two years ago back in Ontario fishing massive Lake Nipigon, where the official world record brook trout was caught back in 1915. Ooh, nice fish. At the time of weighing, the 31-inch trout weighed only 14.5 pounds because it was badly decomposed after 21 days in the bush without refrigeration. Now, actually, a brook trout is not a trout. The, see all the wormy markings up here? Okay. That's char. This is a member of the Arctic char family, so it's a lake trout. Chad's started out, in, in, and we didn't necessarily have this on film, but he had like one little bait with a spinner that he put a piece of crawler on it, and he liked that bait. And he had another one, I don't remember exactly what it was anymore. And he said, these are the two baits that we catch the most fish on. I said, well, good, you use them. He said, what are you going to use? I said, I'm going to put on a fuzzy grub. He said, what's that? And I said, it's a jig. It's got a plastic body and a little marabou feather on the end. Or I said, I may take a, just a jig head and put a white grub on the back of it. I'm going to do both um, and see which one the trout like better. They'll tell me. He said, well, nobody fishes them with jigs. I said, well, I do. Made a cast, got a fish on the first cast. Boom. Just like that. Well, it didn't take too long of me pounding them <laughs> before uh, you don't have to have an extra one of those, do you, babe? Uh, matter of fact, I probably have an extra few hundred here. Yes, sir. <laughs> you can have whatever that you want. Um, these things really work. I can see that. Well, we're out on the main lake. It's, it's, the first day was gorgeous and we could go wherever we wanted to and there was not a lot of wind and so forth and the water is so clear, it's like vodka and you can see the fish swimming and sometimes they just appear and come out of the rocks and boom, you, you, you see the flash, but you didn't see the fish, but you knew it was the fish that flashed, you know what I'm saying? So it is, you're, on, you're on point, you're on your toes at all times, I mean, you're ready to go and, and Every one you look at it and it's like a mosaic. They're just beautiful. And you put it back, and while you're making your cast for your next one, you're thinking about the one you just released and how pretty it was and how hard it fought and so forth, and you set the hook on another one. And we just caught them. Pasha Lake Cabins is our home for the coming days while searching out one of my favorite fish, colorful, hard-fighting trophy brook trout. As a matter of fact, I've been out on Nipigon for the last two days and we've been dodging icebergs because uh, there's still a little bit of ice pack floating around out there. So it's definitely been a late ice here. It's the latest one ever in Minnesota that, for where I live. Lodge owner and guide Chad Thompson and I are on our way to nearby Lake Nipigon, a massive unspoiled jewel located about 75 miles north of Thunder Bay, Ontario. This behemoth lake is roughly 80 miles long by 50 miles wide. With 1,872 square miles of surface area, it's by far the largest lake completely contained within the province of Ontario. One of the biggest challenges for Nipigon is logistics because number one, the accessibility of the lake is so difficult. There isn't uh, a gas station or a marina every 100 feet on the shoreline. So you always have to think logistics when you're out in Nipigon. The other thing is the lake's never been charted. So there are hazards out in the lake um, and people coming up there need to know where they're going um, need to have experience on the water and really need to have local information to be safe. Now, Nipigon is, it is a huge lake, by far the biggest in Ontario. And it's got huge fish, big pike, big walleyes, big brook trout and big lake trout. 
and I don't know what else in there. I've only fished a little portion of it a couple of different times. But I do know this, the world record brook trout comes from Nipigon Lake. And I was hoping to get, after that eight pounder got off, right, we were, I were out, that was on the first day we were out there in clear water and the thing is about five feet or six feet from the net coming toward and just like that came off. And we watched it and we figured it was eight pounds, now maybe it was seven and a half, I don't know. But it was a big, big fish, by far the biggest brook trout I've ever caught. When you're on a lake that you know the world record comes from, I mean, it gives you a different mindset towards what's gonna happen when you get a bite. You don't know what going, goes thump. If it's two pounds or if it's 10 pounds, you just know thump, do your job. Nipigon is a renowned Ontario destination for world-class fishing. Its deep, cold, clear waters are home to 46 different fish species, including beautiful brook trout that draw anglers from all around the world where five to 10 pound brookies can be had. There he is. He thumped it twice. Awesome, I just had a hit back there too, babe. He thumped it twice. Oh my God, the first one to look at the colors on him. Oh, oh, look at that. Good job. Catch and release. Good job. Wow, nice fish, Mr. Winkleman. I wanna start by explaining to you the rod that we use. This is a six foot three Legend Extreme. Um, extra fast taper, so it's got a lot of power on the butt, but a very light tip to it, very, very light tip. So I can throw little eighth ounce and quarter ounce baits with it. And I mean, it, it is the perfect rod for the action that you need for what we were doing. And the sensitivity is unmatched. And look at this, the graphite blank is right here, touching your hand. You talk about the ultimate, and graphite around, you talk about the ultimate in sensitivity and comfort. This thing is incredible. That one actually smacked it pretty dang good. That was on deeper water. Yep. Look at the rod bend on that one. That's a decent fish. What is it that makes a guy enjoy this so much? Boy, they are just beautiful. There's a lot of people who have never seen a big native wild brook trout, you know? Much less the size of the critters they got here. Mm -hmm. Look at that guy, just long, not too fat, but just long. There should be a couple of more here yet, I would think. Absolutely. Double! Double! A double? A double header? That's a nice fish. Oh, mine just come up again. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that, that? Get the trolling motor on that thing, babe. Catch up to it. Here it is, here it comes. Ho, ho, ho. That is a big fish. Oh, yes. Yes. That's Look a six at pound that. fish at least. That is a six pound fish at least. Nice fish, man. That is a gargantuan fish. God almighty. See, nice that's what fish. it went. That's gotta be six pounds. At least six pounds. That's one of the biggest brook trout I've ever landed. That's a big fish. I'm gonna try to get another one. Now the baits we were using were very simple. This is a little eighth ounce jig head with a grub on the back of it. This is a white fuzzy grub. Okay, little plastic body with a marabou feather. Very, very simple baits. Obviously for most brook trout fishermen, anything but traditional baits. It's not something that 99 and 9 tenths percent of the guys that come up here fishing brook trout have never thrown a white jig. Um, but I mean, that's what did the job. There we go. Got another one? Yes, I do. Seems like a pretty good fish. It is a pretty good fish worth. See, I mean, that's a huge brook trout. That's not a big brook trout, it's a huge brook that's trout. That's a 20-inch brook trout right there. I know. And you know what's so cool? On this lake, that ain't no big deal. This is the best kept secret in North America, is this Nipigon Lake, I'll tell you that. Ontario has got some good fishing.